Hey folks, I'm Dennis. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the spindles on the, the mower deck of a YTH 22V46 Husqvarna lawn tractor. The um, spindles on my deck have become worn because I have abused my tractor and uh, cutting stumps and sticks and everything else out in the woods so it's time to replace the spindles. You'll need to have removed the deck from the tractor before you tackle this job and uh, there's another video on my channel that shows exactly how to do that, how to remove the deck from the mower. So please watch that first and then come back. Let's get started. What we have to do is we've got to take these two plastic guard covers off and then these guide pins that hold the belt onto the spindle pulleys they're uh, bent together they've got a couple of bolts in each holding them down to the deck we got to take those off so we can get the belt out from around the spindle pulley Okay, then you can see on these two guide pins, that's what holds the belt onto the pulley. They got to come off and you got two bolts here that get them off. All right, so these are half inch. You need a, you need a standard socket on these. The deep well is too tall to get in there. Broke that bolt off. All right, so I broke two bolts off. You need a seven eighths wrench or socket to get this uh, pulley nut off. I recommend a pair of gloves because you need to hold on to the blade up underneath in order to get this off. So I'm going to put a glove on one hand, reach up under here and hold on to the blade while I try to bust this nut loose. So that's easy. Easy enough. So you're gonna push that out. You're gonna push that out of the way. Some of, sometimes these are gonna be kind of tight, so you may have to take a like a rubber mallet or a dead blow hammer and knock this loose. Sometimes not so bad. It's on a it's on a little fixed or a little star uh, shoulder there. There's a spacer washer. Don't lose that. It's a th it's not a standard washer. It's a it's a good bit thicker. Um, than a standard washer, so make sure you hold on to that. The, the pulleys aren't marked top or bottom, and it really probably does not matter, but if you're not sure if you can keep up with it or not, just mark it, take a sharpie and write top or something. Mine are marked on one side with a yellow dot, so I know that's the top, and the bottom is not marked with a yellow dot, so uh, I'm just going to keep mine sitting like that and I know the spacer goes underneath. Then you do the same on the other side. You got a spring on this brake over here that opens up like that. And you may have to give this thing a couple of whacks. If it won't come loose, take a dead blow hammer. I wouldn't use a metal hammer because you can deform the flanges on the pulley and then they'll tear your belt up so get that out of the way and just give it a couple of taps it'll come it'll start coming loose then you can get it right off 
Don't forget the spacer. All right, next thing you want to do is you want to take the blades off. So uh, five eighths uh, socket or a wrench. A glove on your hand so you don't get cut or pinched with your blade. This is also a real good time to clean up out from under your deck if you want. Um, scrape it out or whatever. Mine's fairly clean. Uh, you can see uh, right up here, that's where I've had to repair it because I broke the I broke one of the mounting ears off, so that's what all that is about. I've had some done some welding in there. Uh, normally you wouldn't have that. And then I'm also missing the baffle that goes right here because I bent it uh, and I didn't replace it. So there's just a little sheet metal baffle that goes right here. <clears throat> I've got two little lizards that keep hanging out here with me. Helping me out. There's one of them. And there's the other one. He's got a that one's got a tail. This one doesn't. His tail's gone. So little helpers. Okay, half inch socket. I already have these loose because I loosened them up so I could get the belt off, so. Now it's just a matter of taking them the rest of the way out. Alright, there we go. Alright, so that's what the spindle looks like. Now, what you got to do is you got to make sure when you order your new ones, if you want to order them in advance, some of these decks come with a three uh, bolt spindle and some with a four bolt. Um, mine obviously comes with a four bolt. If you go to the repair parts manual that came with the tractor, you go to the drawing, you've got the spindle, the spindle housing, the bearing, the spacer, the pulley, and the pulley bolt, pulley nut. If you go to the parts manual, they really only give you the, the spindle housing bearing the spindle itself. Um, if you go online, you can find the whole assembly. So what I did was I went on to Amazon and I found my spindle uh, assemblies and I ordered them there. And I'll leave a link in the description of where I ordered them um, and what the part number is. So as you see, they come with a complete assembly. New spindle bolts, new pulley nut, um, and then also new blade bolts and blade washers, which is pretty cool. So I can replace all of that. Now you can buy these that are greasable and non-greasable. Now the ones that came off of my deck, there are no grease fittings. There's nothing here, nothing on the housing. I like the greasable ones because I want to be able to put grease in it. I think it'll probably last longer. So you'll notice this one has a zerk fitting right up here at the top of the spindle. Take it off where you can see it right here. So now when I'm greasing the front end on the tractor, I can also shoot a, a squirt of grease into the uh, spindle and probably um, increase its life. So to keep it safe, I'm going to put all this on here. I want to protect the threads, so I'm going to leave that pulley nut on there and then we'll install it. So I gotta take these these bolts out. Doesn't matter which way this goes in, it's all the same. It's symmetric. So uh, it, it just goes in from the bottom and you just gotta make sure that all your bolt holes are lined up. So I'm just gonna set that in there, make sure the holes line up. The other thing to be aware of with these spindles is that some of them come with uh, self-tapping bolts. So they're gonna be coarser and they're gonna have like a slot in them. That's okay, except that what it means is that when you're installing these, you're gonna have to crank down on these bolts harder because they're gonna cut the threads into that cast aluminum. 
I didn't want that. I wanted them to be pre-threaded, and I wanted the uh, I wanted the spindle base to also be threaded. And you can see these are threaded all the way through. So you you may not agree with that, and so you may want the self-tapping ones. That's going to be up to each person. I'm just going to snug that up for right now. I don't want it tight because I want to get all four bolts in there first. I'm also not going to tighten these up because I want to have play in here to be able to get the belt on when I put the pulley back on. I just want to get them all started and I snug this one up so the spindle doesn't flop around on me. But you do want to make sure that all four are started real well in there, that the spindle is completely centered in the hole. Um, take the pulley nut off. Now, don't forget that spacer. Well, never mind. There's a new spacer. It's already on the. It's already on the spindle. It goes under the pulley. Don't put it on top because it's going to mess up your belt alignment. It goes under the, the pulley on top of the bearing. Make sure you got your pulley turned the same way. I doubt it matters, but I'm going to stick with what's on top. Mine happened to be marked with a yellow dot on the top, so you got to make sure that breaks out of the way. Okay. Take the new pulley nut stick that on there we're not going to be able to tighten that up uh, all the way until we put the blade on the bottom you'll notice there's a there's a recess in here and the recess part gives you a, a open shoulder to go over this starred part that the pulley locks onto so all right that's that's that for right now All right, so I flipped the deck over. I'm going to take the new, the new blade bolt and washer. Don't ever use just a standard washer on your blade like this because this is a special uh, washer. They're hardened. They're made for lawnmower blades. They're not just standard washers. Line that up on the star. Take your bolt. So now we're going to flip it back over and finish the top. All right, I don't know if you have the same problem I did, but this replacement nut, uh, it's peened for one thing, but my, uh, my, my six point deep well 7 8 socket wouldn't fit it. Uh, so I went and got a uh, 12 point and it fits it fine. Just be aware it might not fit. So once you get that snug on there, you're going to have to get your hand up under the deck and hold on to the blade. And uh, then you can tighten this up. Be careful not to slip off of this because if you do, you'll break this zerk fitting off and you have to replace it. So Now all we got to do is do that to the other side. So the good news is the two bolts that I broke off, no big deal because they thread into the spindle. So that's a blessing. Like that. See, there's another one I broke off. Well, that was easy.
Now we're gonna do this just the same as the other. I'm gonna flip the deck over, I'm gonna put the, the blade on, I'm not gonna bore you with those details. Tighten this nut up, just like I did on the other one, and uh, then we'll finish it up in just a minute. Put, put the belt back on. Tighten these up and put the other side back on. Be done with it. You don't want to tighten these up too much because they're going into plastic. But anyway, that's it. Finish up the other side. All we got to do is tighten up. Put the belt on, tighten up the two guide bolts, put the uh, cover back on, and then all I have to do is grease those two fittings and we're good to go. I'll do that here in just a minute. I'm going to finish this up again, no point in boring you with the details. I've already seen it once. So, If you bought spindles that have grease fittings on them, the last thing you got to do is you've got to put uh, grease in each spindle. If you bought the kind that are uh, already sealed and don't have grease fittings, you don't have to worry about this step. Um, so strictly your preference on which ones you bought and replaced with. but Again, if you've got the kind that need to be greased, you're going to have to grease both spindles. So you need a grease gun, pop it onto the, onto the zerk. I'm going to give mine enough grease so that that play comes out of the spindle. There should be a little bit of play in there. So what I'm going to do until that play comes out, it's probably going to take a good bit because these are empty. Which, what you don't want to do is pack it so tight that you bust the seal on the bearing because that's just going to prematurely ruin the bearing and I'm just using regular bearing grease. Alright, so now see I got no more play in there so I'm going to give it one more squirt. That's going to be full. Take an oil rag or a paper towel or something and wipe off that zerk fitting because you don't want it to accumulate any more dust and junk on the top than it has to. That'll keep you from squeezing it in there. But just keep going until you start feeling a little bit of back pressure and then continue to check for up and down play in that bearing. Once that, once that cavity is full of grease, you see that pulley's gonna stop moving up and down so that'll fill it up. So I'm gonna do the other one and then we're done. All right, folks, well, that's it. Now you know how to change the spindles out on a deck on a Husqvarna YTH 22V46 tractor. I'm glad you watched this video and I hope it helps. If you get stuck, if you have a problem, you're not sure about any of the instructions, then uh, please just leave a comment below and I'll be glad to try my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks again for watching my video. I appreciate it. Thanks for checking out my channel. I hope you subscribe. Check out some of my other videos on this tractor and some other things as well. And uh, I hope to see you back soon. Thanks.